we're gonna get right into our warm up. So we'll start with our jumping jacks. As usual, we've got two options, tapping out side to side to avoid jumping or just getting into the full jumping jack. So I know I look pretty cool today. So we put in some new lighting. Uh, hopefully you can actually see my facial features now instead of my fluorescent garage light. Uh, a little more space as well so that you can see more of my body. So this is exciting. Hopefully it looks better. Let me know what you think. I can't believe how much of a difference studio light makes, even if you don't know how to use it that well. This is why everyone on the internet looks so good. All right, 20 more, we're getting up to 50, whichever version you've chosen. All right, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, okay. Whew. I think I just uh, drank a little too much coffee really fast before this, so. Hopefully, <laughs> that was a mistake. Okay, so our lunges, we're gonna get about 10 on each side. If you need to move a little more slowly, that's okay. Just keep moving until this, I've done 10. All right, I've got about two more on each side. Hip distance apart. Last one on each side. Good, and then we'll go right into some walkouts. So starting with our feet about the same distance as they were apart during our lunge. We'll walk out into a plank and then back up. So at your own pace, just get as many in as you can during the time that it takes me to do eight, or I shouldn't say as many as you can, it's good to move slowly. Just get a good stretch, start to warm up the core and the shoulders. I've got about five left still, so you have plenty of time. You're starting to warm up your hamstrings. They're starting to lengthen out. You can always bring your feet a couple inches closer together. Get a little bit deeper into that hamstring stretch. Two more. This is a good time also to kind of think about your hands kind of your hands themselves being flat on the ground to start to stretch out our fingers after all of the hours on the keyboard. Okay, good. That's about enough. We're just gonna drop down our last regular warm up move. We've got a set of bird dogs, so extend your leg out, draw it back in, extend it out. Draw it back in. We're gonna get 10 on each side, making sure not to let our lower back curve. No pelvis tilting forward. Resisting the urge to rock back and forth or rotate, even though one of our legs and arms are off the ground. So to talk a little bit, as we finish these last four repetitions on this side, about the workout. It's gonna take place in one minute efforts. We're gonna make quick transition it's between each move, no rest break. Last one. Good, so there's gonna be five moves. And then there's gonna be one full minute of rest in between rounds. We're gonna do our rounds five times, totaling 30 minutes of conditioning work. And that should pretty much take care of us for our full workout, counting this warm up and a few cool down stretches. But you know, as usual, who knows if we're super fast, so we can always fit it, maybe fit in a couple extra movements at the end. But that's all I'm, <laughs> that's the main thing I really wanna get done today. 
Last one. All right, good. So I'm gonna start at my timer after I tell you these moves. I don't know why I'm not telling you. Okay, so <laughs> moves first. So our first move, we're gonna do an up-down variation. So we've been doing these a lot in class and in sessions. Uh, unfortunately, since we're at home, burpees and all those sorts of things are a bigger part of our training than they would be in the gym. Uh, so this is the full version I want you to do. If you're able, one hand down, other hand not on the mat, out, in, up, switch. So if, you, if you're not quite there yet, you can do both hands. And another modification, if you're not quite there yet because you don't want to jump at all, you can start, you can continue to practice the one hand and just step in and out. Okay. And stepping out, that's, a, that's kind of a double scaled back version. Any version is fine, just commit to the one that you think you can do and try to do your best at it. Second move, Russian twists. Uh, third move, we're gonna do a plank with a toe tap like this. I'll rem I mean, it's okay if you forget some of these. Just giving you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Fourth move, squat, knee, squat, knee. And fifth move, we're gonna do just jumping jacks, just like the warm up. So a lot of like fast, simple work at the end before we get a full minute off. All right, so let's start. I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna, um, do we're gonna do this for 30 minutes so it's gonna be five times so just to remind you all right let's start three two oh my gosh sorry okay very annoying okay now we're gonna start all right five four three i've i downloaded a timer app but i haven't paid for it yet so then it showed up with an ad so we're out <laughs> Definitely, I guess I need to grab my, probably invest in whatever 99 cents a month it is or, whatever, or 99 cents total. So we've got one minute of these. Out, in, up. Reminder, if you don't want to jump, step in, step in, step out. You just need to continue to be pretty hard on yourself about the pace. The pace is, it's easy to get a little lazy if you're not jumping. So just quick. We've only got 25 seconds left and then we're into some Russian twists, a little less cardio. If you wanna add weight to those twists, you can go for it. I would suggest, unless you're very confident, to do the first minute body weight because it's a long, it's a long time to be doing Russian twists. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and come down onto the mat. <sighs> Twisting both hands touching each side. If you need to modify at any point, just place your feet on the ground. Not modify because you're tired of it, but modify just if your back starts to hurt. If you know you would get more out of it if your feet were on the ground. 20 seconds left, and then we're gonna go into that plank with a toe tap. A lot of balance work on this next one. 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Now come up. I'm gonna set my mat a little bit to the side and begin. Touch, touch. So if you're unable to do the touch, you can just bring your foot out side to side. Just focus on that lower body part. If you're unable to do that, focusing on holding a really good static plank is always an option at any point. That is a great move. It's a classic for a reason. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep this up for about 40 seconds more. At the turn, you should really start to feel it in the oblique and into your lats and your back. 
So try to get as much of a twist as possible so you can feel that. We've got 20 seconds left. Each time I'm making sure to, at some point in the middle, be in a real plank position. That should be the something we're achieving in every rotation. So five seconds left, four, three, two, one. All right, into those squats. I think everyone's up to this one. We're down, up, down, up. But you can go pretty fast, simple, if you want to start to get your heart rate up even a little more. We're going to get 40 more seconds of these. And then we're into our last move of the first round. 30 seconds and then into jumping jacks. Nice deep squats, keeping the abs tight, the back flat. Show you a few from this direction. Last 10 seconds. Toes forward, weight in the heels. Five, four, three, two, one, and jumping jacks. Last minute before our rest. So again, this is another great option. You can even add a weight. A weight overhead is always a great way to add cardio in if you don't want to jump. We've got 25 seconds here. Just getting as many as we can in. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, We're taking a minute off. Let's see. Have a look at this. I'm definitely, my heart rate is definitely getting up, so. <clears throat> okay, unless you have any huge questions, we're just gonna go through it a couple more times, so we'll go again in about 20 seconds. And it, so if you wanted to add a weight into those Russian twists, now's a good time to grab it. I'll do the weight with you this round. I'm gonna grab my medicine ball. <clears throat> Otherwise, let's just go in five seconds. Four, three, two, and go. So, Able to get there with jumping, just take a little bit of a step out to correct yourself at the end. Thirty seconds here, already halfway through the time. Fifteen, ten, nine, eight, seven, into Russian twist in five seconds, four, three, two, one, and sit, seated, go. Breathe, deep breaths, 
practice that like actually filling your lungs with oxygen even though your abs are engaged. 30 seconds left. Last 20. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, popping up into that plank in 3, 2, 1, and up. Here we go. Rotate, rotate. Wrists, elbows, shoulders in line. Keep this going for 40 more seconds. Last 30, halfway. Twenty seconds. If you absolutely hate this move, maybe next round you can do some tricep dips instead, but I like this move. Last 10, nine, eight, into the squats in five seconds, four, three, two, one, and up. All right, squats, down, up, down, up, down. Just jumping jacks. You can add that weight in if you're taking the jump out. Same weight you use for the twist is fine if you used one. I'll do that style with you this time. Fifteen. My abs. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. If you're not jumping, try the weight. We've only got about 30 seconds here. Oh. 25. This one's actually harder in my opinion. Fifteen seconds. And then our full minute of rest again. Five. Four, three, two, one. All right. Yeah, grab some water. We'll take our minute off. Okay, so we've got two rounds down. Three to go. Nice, long, luxurious break though. So 30 more seconds. Letting the heart rate kind of get down so we can put full effort into our next round. Okay, last 10 seconds. Oh, at this point I'm getting kind of excited to start again, so that's good. Okay, five, four, three, two, and go. You're up, down, variation of choice. I'm gonna go full out with the one arm jumping.
Okay, halfway, 30 seconds here. Last 20. Ten seconds here. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Into those twists. Let's go. Three, two, and go. Remember practicing that idea of isolating. You can still keep your abs flexed even though your lungs are expanding. We've got 30 seconds of twists left. last 20 seconds. Think about it, you're now more than halfway done with your Russian twists for the day. Seven, six, into that plank variation next. Three, two, one. Set your weight to the side if you were using one. And we'll go three, two, and begin. Touch touch really look to the wall on each side to get that full rotation Halfway through. So remember, if you need to, you can just practice that leg part, or you can even just hold your plank. So you've only got 12 seconds left. So unless you're really struggling, try to keep up with the, with the version you chose at the beginning. Five seconds, four, three, two, and up. Into our squat, three, two, and go. Keep that speed up if you can. Last 30 seconds of squats. Yeah. Oh, so this whole time, I think if you feel like you're at a pace where talking isn't at least a little difficult, you should speed up. Three, two, one, and jumping jacks. Last minute of work before I rest. Being at this level where we're able to talk, but it's not easy is actually one of the most beneficial cardio intensities for both getting better at the slow work and at work that's faster than what we're doing right now. Seven seconds here, keep it going. We're resting in three, two, one, and rest. All right, we're more than halfway through. 
We've done three rounds and we only have two more. Whew. So we have about 35 seconds left of rest for some water, some deep breaths. So if you guys probably haven't seen this because I really only posted it on Facebook, but uh, starting next week, I'm going to be teaching one of my classes for charity just to work with the nonprofit I work with to raise some money for meals for medical workers and everyone working in those first responder kind of positions. So if you know anyone who wants to do this workout, but a little earlier at nine, let them know. Uh, yeah, that's enough. I'll tell you later because we have to get back to work in three seconds into our burpees and go. This isn't really a burpee, but boy. Halfway through this set already. Twenty seconds left. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three two and done all right grab that weight if you're using weight for twists we'll start three two one and go your transitions aren't quite as fast as mine that's okay we're just trying to work for as much of the minute as we're able to nice deep breaths we've got 40 seconds left here Again, if you need to put your feet on the ground, do so. Halfway. Last 20 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going, seven, six. We're going up into that plank variation next. Three, two, one. Switch in as fast as you can. Twisting, choosing your variation from full to just a plank hold. And then in the middle there, we've got just practicing the lower body portion of this twist. Wonderful. All right, guys, 30 seconds here. Sorry about that. 20 seconds. 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And into our squats. This is already our fourth of five moves. Now, even though you're standing, this knee up should feel a bit like a crunch. So our abs are contracting each time. Our toes are pretty much pointed forward and our weight is coming to our heels. Last 30 seconds of this movement. So if you're able to, a little faster without letting your abs go, of course. 20 seconds. 
into our jumping jacks after this before our last rest interval. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Nice landing on the pointed toes. A little bit of a tiny bend in the knee so you're not impacting your joints. I think it would be kind of hard to accidentally lock your knees on this, but just in case. Making sure to really touch your hands overhead. 30 seconds. Nice. All right, last 20 seconds. You've got a whole minute to rest after this, so don't slow down quite yet. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, we've got a minute of rest and then we're only going through this one more time. So each time you do the move on this next round, it's the last time you'll have to. Everyone's looking good. We're halfway through our rest break, so start thinking about getting back towards your mat. We don't quite have to go yet, but we do kind of want to get our last, our last strength out in this set. So this is a great time to kind of push yourself. You won't know you won't have to do anything after this. So we'll start in 10 seconds. We'll go five, four, three, two, and go. Twenty seconds in, forty more for the day of these. Fifteen more seconds. Ten, a couple more repetitions, five seconds. If you can get one more in and rest. All right, into our twist right away. We're in our last four minutes of work for the whole workout. Last 30 seconds here. Think about your back to your posture. Maybe as you get tired, your shoulders start to come up to your ears. You can kind of draw them down a little. 10 seconds more. Seven, five, four, three, two, one, throw that ball to the side into our play. Starting now, twist, 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 or just hold. Only two more minutes of work after this one. About halfway through the minute here, we've got 30 more seconds. Okay. 
20 seconds left. 15. Keep going. Ah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, into the squats. Halfway through here, if you still have a little more energy to give, good time to go a little faster. We've got about 70 seconds left until we're stretching. Ten seconds of the squats. We'll go five. Four, three, two, one, and last minute. Big circles with the arms all the way up. 30 seconds left of our workout. Keep it going, only 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. All right, Ooh. I'm ending, definitely my heart rate is 170, so definitely out of breath. Good time to stop. We're gonna grab a little water and we'll start in our stretches. As our heart rate is lowering when you're ready, we'll just start with the shoulder opening stretch. So hands behind the back. Shoulders back and down, chest out without letting the abs go. So tight abs to isolate the stretch to the shoulders and the chest. Roll the shoulders back and down. Look up a little bit and then just push your hands up to the ceiling all without letting this happen. So. So from here, like while you're doing this, just do some circles with your head. See what feels good. And then we'll come into a wide stance here, toes forward, legs straight, and just let your head fall to the ground. If you have the flexibility here, or if it feels good, it can even feel good if you're not that flexible, you can let your hands just kind of hang here letting gravity kind of push them a little bit more towards the ground and from here you can kind of just mess around with where the weight is in your feet so pay attention if you bring your weight into your toes as if you're about to fall down onto the floor if it feels a little scary you can even put your hands just on the floor so you'll feel that the stretch comes a little further down in your hamstring towards your knee and your calf your upper calf Especially if you were talking of the idea of like pushing your bones up to the ceiling. So like you're kind of sticking your butt out a little dramatically, like up here versus pushing the butt up. So that's going to kind of, you can imagine your butt's getting a little further up. So there's a little more length being created along the hamstring. If you just like think about pushing it up to the ceiling. So from there, just think, think about the opposite, just bring your feet, your weight back into your heels. Maybe bend your knees a tiny bit on this one and shove your butt back towards the wall behind you. 
So this is gonna kind of try to bring the, the stretch up into where our hamstrings are almost tying into our glutes. So one isn't better than the other, just spend a little more time in whichever feels tighter, whatever, whichever one makes more sense to you. Hamstrings are always something that we need to stretch a little more than we do. And then from here, we're just gonna do a half turn, come down onto our mat in a deep lunge, get the hip flexors as usual. So we've got our front foot either pointing straight forward or turned out a little bit, whatever feels best to you. We've got our back knee, same thing, pointing down or turned out a little bit, whatever feels best. And for me, I like it a little turned out because I don't really wanna, it doesn't feel comfortable to me to put my kneecap like straight down onto the floor. Um, so from here, if you want to deepen the stretch in one way, this is gonna bring it more into the quad, you can bring your foot up and grab your foot. If you're unable to grab your foot, that's okay, you don't have to. If you wanna try, you can always use something like a belt, a yoga strap, or even a resistance band to kind of loop around your foot, pull it in. Okay, and if you grabbed your foot, put it back down when you're ready, and then put your hands down between your legs. So if this stretch doesn't feel deep enough for you yet, you can bring your elbows down onto the ground. And then just really think about pushing your hip flexors down towards the mat, pushing your chest open to create a little more length. So we've got a few different lunge variations. You can follow along with me or just spend more time in whichever one of those three felt the best to you. We'll hold our lunge for a few more seconds and then we're just gonna go to the other side, starting with a, a regular deep stretch lunge here. Straight up and down. Um, this will be our last main stretch of the day. We've got to remember, check in on where your feet are, pointing forward or a little bit out. Same with your back knee. And then if you want, you can grab your back foot with your hand or a strap or a band. And then when we're done here, holding a few more seconds if you chose to grab your foot in any way, you can go ahead and place your foot back down on the ground slowly and bring your hands to the ground. So, and then again, if you need to, you can deepen your stretch by bringing your elbows to the ground. We're just looking for something, a level that creates some tension in the muscles we're targeting. It doesn't have to be like pushing yourself into a painful position. You just have to feel like, okay, if I felt my hip flexor right here, it's pretty taut, you know, it's lengthened. It's not, uh, not relaxed at all. So. And then we'll come up and that's it. So let me know if you want stretches for anything specific, but 11.15, uh, thanks for coming. Yeah, if you want to now, you can, you can just go ahead and unmute yourself if you have any questions. Otherwise, um, I will put this workout up on YouTube, the full length one, and you can tell your friends to do it. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> oh yeah, Kim. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs>